Now, upon request, I decided to tell a story, one of touching inspiration and motivation, one that does not leave you with a pit in your stomach, or will it? So Jacob and Matthew were great friends from a young age. They grew up together and they played outside together and they went on swing sets together. Never hold hands because they're not like that kind of friends. One day inside, Jacob and Matthew were scouring the internet. They came across a video of these humans doing flips. It was absolutely, absolutely crazy. Jacob's mind was blown. Matthew was pretty impressed too. After watching these videos, they decided to go outside and try flips of their own. He's doing a flip, okay? Don't get any ideas. They never land on their feet, but Jacob gets pretty close. He's doing flips right now. He's going to sit down. And Matthew says, I want to try a flip too. He goes on highest ledge and he says, a little extra clearance, I might get a little extra spin. So he tries to jump, but he doesn't get a little extra spin, but he comes crashing down and he pops on the ground. Jacob, Matthew, okay. Matthew lands right on his face. And he breaks his thumb and his thumb is broken and bleeding. And he's very upset. Uh, so they stop practicing flips. But when they're not hanging out together, which is very rare, Jacob is determined that he will learn his own flips. So Jacob practice and he practice and he practice, practicing and he's landing when he's, whoa, he's landing. Matthew is very worried about his friend Jacob. He feels like Jacob is avoiding him because Jacob might not like him anymore or something. Was it something Matthew said? Matthew has no idea. So Matthew sneak up and follow Jacob. He sees Jacob go to a group of these people. They are all boys. Yo, what's up, man? Matthew's like, these kids look really familiar. Wait a minute, it's those kids on the internet who were doing flips a year ago when I saw them. What were their names? They didn't have real human names. What they had was suffocuses, Air Bloom, Pan, Paul Gibbs. And Jacob was joining the crowd. He was hanging out with them, and he wasn't hanging out with Matthew. How? How could Jacob do this to me? I broke my thumb, and Jacob would decide to hang out with those hooligans who, who do more thumb-breaking activities. Their friendship was officially unofficially over. Jacob says to Matthew, Matthew, where you been, man? I went over you had to play some Xbox, and you weren't even there. Matthew's like, listen, I'm done playing these stupid games. And Jacob said, Matthew, what's going on with you, man? Why are you being on cold? And, and go ahead. no, wait, no, wait, Jacob said that. And then Matthew says, me being cold? Listen, I'm not being cold, I'm being smart, okay? Nobody has time to play stupid games and do these stupid flips. Stupid flips? What are you talking about, Matthew? Caught in a blind spot. Jacob kind of remained kind of chilled. And Matthew said, listen, I'm studying because I want to be an educated man and go to college. I'm doing all this stupid stuff is just stupid. I want to be a businessman and be successful and make monies. Can we still hang out though because we're friends? Matthew said, listen, I don't care about friendship. I just care about money and being successful. And then they were separated and they parted their ways. So the years went by and Matthew, he might have not really wanted to be a businessman, but uh, he became one to make his point to Jacob who really doesn't even care. So Matthew got a job at a very successful firm working from eight to eight, six days a week being a businessman. And Jacob was a freelance tricker, artist, photographer, part-time singer, article writer, blogger, YouTuber, a website constructor, a cat sitter, a dog walker, a paper boy, a lawn cutter, personal trainer, a snow shoveler, a vacuum cleaner, a vending machine owner, a pop can taker backer recycler, an activist, a poet, and a car washer. So their annual income was a little different. But the point was Matthew worked day in, day out, type, 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 while Jacob was out living his dreams, chilling with his friends, making $5,000 a year. So Matthew went home at night all the time, often thinking about his work the next day. Jacob went home, this is a trailer. Matthew forget about his jealousy about Jacob. And he just continued to work hard and taking the money. He ends up having kids and getting married and he starts a family. He decides to become a selfless person and he donates some monies and it helps the children around the world who don't have any families or who are sick and who are hungry. And Jacob, on the other hand, who is doing his freelance work, uh, training his tricking. Jacob, on the other hand, becomes very, very selfish. 
and all he does is think about himself, myself and my flips and he's just, I went to my flips and um, by this time he's very good and he's almost the best but there's always someone better than him, Michael Cotri. He's training, he's training, he's training until one day, holy master cholis, this bill is more than I make in two years. What am I going to do? In need for some quick cash so he can train again, he decides to sell himself to the, the narcotics industry. He's like, yo, I need to make some dough. So, so he's gotta do, he's gotta do what you gotta do to make the money. So he's selling the narcotics, selling the narcotics. And one day, Jacob gets busted by the police. So Jacob goes to jail for four years. In the pen for four years, Jacob goes many troubles. When he gets out, he decides he wants to trick again. He's like, listen, I'm gonna get back into it. I'm gonna do my thing now. So Jacob goes to trick, but he's not the same. It just doesn't feel right anymore. And he practiced for weeks, but they're still sloppy, making him feel like poo. He doesn't have any money. What is he gonna do? He's from Matthew sees him. Hey, Jacob, what's up, old buddy? Jacob's so like, Matthew, Matthew, thank you. So happy to see you, Matthew. I, I, I really hope you, you understand me right now, but I really need a favor. I have no place to stay. I just got out of prison. Matthew's like, wow, Jacob, I'm really concerned for you. You can come stay at my place, old body, okay? So Jacob comes to stay at Matthew's, gets a place to rest, gets some food, gets a thumbs up by Matthew, has a thumbs up, okay? Next thing you know, um, some of Jacob's old friends call. They call him on his phone. He's um, paying Paul Gibbs and, um, what's the other guy's name? Air Balloon. Why don't you come out to the, uh, the Red Cow, the Red Cow event in um, Sandusky, and we want you to perform with us. I want to perform too. But I don't have any money. Instead of just asking his friend Matthew for some money, he, he decides he's already shamed and he goes into Matthew's wife's wallet and takes a couple hundred dollars. There's no way she knows it's gone. She's a big spender anyways. He's like, yes, let's do this. And so they go to the event. Jacob is actually doing really good today. He did really good because he took a lot of painkillers and a lot of caffeine. But unfortunately, he's still in second place. There's a kid who's in front of him. Who is this new little kid who's doing all good to me? I want to be first because what I care about is my selfishness and being a champion because I want to be the best instructor in the world. So Jacob goes behind the stage, he grabs a baseball bat, and he breaks the kid's knees when the kid is not looking. And Jacob becomes a champion. And you know, he had to step on some backs, you know, run over some heads in order to get here, but he did it. He's a champion now, and um, you know, his story is just uh, by the end of their lives. These are the caskets. Jacob and Matthew have made many impacts. Matthew helped 400,000 people with his sponsorships and indirect contributions. And Jacob broke one kid's knee, four hooked to narcotics, made a couple of inside jokes, learned some flips and inspired a few kids to do some flips. One of them broke a knuckle. The result of their life's work. The years went on and on and on and on. And I mean on and on, and I mean on and on. Trillions of years go on, I mean like trillions. And the sun grows bigger, and it consumes the entire world, and the world is doomed. And then all the stars, you know, the planets, start to separate, and all the suns grow red, because red is colder, and a great deep freeze of the universe happens. And by this time, nobody remembers a single thing, because everybody's passed away and dead, and nothing even matters anymore. And the universe, keeps expanding and grows quiet and dark. No memories, no impacts, no purpose. No, that's all a lie because it's all the system. There was a purpose under the dome by the eye in the sky. You know what? Subscribe. So try to find a lesson of that story, but you gotta focus.